Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. Uh, okay, so today, let's see, let's obviously just start off super quick by telling you guys or reminding you guys about my uh, in-class workshops here at home. I am teaching here in London, Ontario. There's only like a week and a half left if you are in the area or surrounding area here in London, Ontario, Canada. Um, that's, uh, classes are going to happen April 27th and 28th. If you are interested in coming to learn in person with me, email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. Uh, just a few short weeks away from Asheville, North Carolina, happening May 23rd to the 25th. So I will be in Asheville, North Carolina, teaching three days, um, six classes. If you want information on Asheville, you can go to www.fluidartexperience.com and you'll get all the information there. And lastly, I will be in Fort Myers, Florida, July 13th and 14th, and I will be teaching with Kathleen from Cause Creations. So if you want to come and see Kathleen and I for a two-day event in Fort Myers, Florida, you can email us at Fluid art with friends, Florida at gmail.com and we will give you all the information you need to know. All right, um, let me show you guys the dried results um, of the last painting. Um, my client loves it. I love it. Um, a lot of you loved it. It turned out, it dried perfectly. It's got such pretty colors in it. Like, I mean, again, I was super surprised with the color palette and a lot of the comments below also said um, the same thing. You guys were really impressed with the color palette. So there she be. And of course it's going to get a top coat of crystal resin. And of course, speaking of resin, don't forget, um, I don't even know when does the 10 days end? There was a sale on um, casting resin, brand new product from Crystal Resin. It is casting resin. It is on sale on the website, plus you get an additional 15% off using code Canela15. That is a big savings. Normally my discount code is only 7%. You are now getting 15% on top of the already sale discount. All right, so head on over to Crystal Resin's website if you want to get yourself some casting resin. Uh, Loli Vefi kits are still up for grabs um, till the end of the month. Um, you know, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, click on the link in the description below for Loli Vefi kit sale. Um, yeah, aside from that, uh, let me think, Laser Friday. So stay tuned for this Friday for a new project that I finished. I'm so proud of myself. I love the way it is. I. I may post some pictures or a quick video on Facebook and Instagram, but if you're not on any of those social platforms, you will definitely see it on Friday for Laser Friday, okay? I'm uh, trying to think what else. Aside from um, that information, so you saw the dried results. I told you guys about all the classes I'm doing. Um, yeah, that's it. Super quick um, intro. Um, I still have not sent out the email for the wood round. So for those of you who are wondering, I didn't get an email, didn't get an email. I've been a little preoccupied the last couple of days. Um, and I haven't had a chance to send out that email, but it's coming this week. I promise if you are on my mailing list for wood products, um, that email will come out, um, sometime this week. Um, and if you saw my last video, there was uh, a nasty person who made a nasty comment uh, about that and about, you know, me doing wood rounds and what I'm going to be charging for them and yada, yada, yada. And she was quite, uh, quite nasty about it. But if you hadn't seen it, I, I took the liberty of pinning her post, uh, her comment to the top of all the comments because I just thought she was uh, absolutely rude and a troll. And could I delete her and block her and move on? Yeah, but where's the fun in that sometimes? You know what? I'm a very open, honest, and very, very blunt person. Um, and if you don't like it, that's fine. Uh, it's totally fine with me. Uh, this is me. This is my personality. I'm not always bubbly and cheery and, and, and all of that. I'm not. Um, this is me. Take it or leave it. And I know a lot of you guys love it. And for those of you who don't like it, 
you don't have to watch. That is totally fine with me. I know there are a lot of people out there. I will admit it. There are a lot of people out there who hate me, who don't like what I stand for, who don't like my videos, who don't like what I do. And that is totally fine. That is totally fine because there's 180,000 plus of you on my YouTube channel who do like me. All right. So, um, and that's fine by me. Not everybody's going to love me. You know, people are going to hate me and that's fine. But why bother comment and, uh, you know, be such a B I, you know, C H, you know, whatever. But, uh, that never bothers me. That never brings me down. Your negative comments do not hurt me in any way, shape or form. I actually find them quite comical. Um, hence why I posted your stupid comment to the top so that people could read it and have a chuckle. Um, so anywho, yeah, that's it. I just have to say it because I just say everything that's on my mind, whether you like it or not. <laughs> okay. Today I am working on um, small 10 by 10 inch canvases getting ready for my Asheville event. These are going to be canvases that I am going to be giving to my students in my resin class and you are going to be top coating them with resin. So I have to do about 20 of them. So we're going to start today with uh, the first little handful. So let's get started. I'm going to be right back. All right, everybody, let's get started. So what I have here are four canvases. They are 10 by 10 inch. All right. And like I said, I have to do about um, 20 of these for my um, class in Asheville, North Carolina, my resin top coating class. So I'm going to start off with the first four and then you maybe you might see more videos of me doing more. Maybe not. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so um, you're also probably wondering why I'm wearing one glove. Um, so really quickly, I stupidly, uh, accidentally, um, had a little accident and I burned all my fingertips, um, on the barbecue the other day. Uh, I was barbecuing and I had the lid up and I wasn't paying attention and I went to grab the handle of the lid to bring it back down to close the barbecue lid. And I thought I was grabbing the handle and I didn't. And I actually put my hand on the actual lid of the barbecue and I pushed my fingers down because, you know, I th thought I was grabbing the handle and I literally just singed and burned um, my fingertips. Uh, let's just say I ugly cried for hours and hours. <laughs> Poor Anthony. Like, I mean, I don't think he's ever seen me ugly cry um, in the year we've been together. That's right. This Saturday will mark one year that we have uh, been together. Can you believe that? Where on earth did a year go? Um, I'm so happy. Um, we're happy together, but yeah. Um, so I stupidly burned my fingertips. I'm so mad at myself because it was just such a dumb thing to do. Um, so it's all bubbly and blistery and it's not pretty. Um, but yeah, so I'll survive, but I put a glove on because I really don't want to get paint on my fingers and then have to try and scrub the paint off or infect anything. So that is why I'm wearing a glove and you probably may or may not see me, um, use the hairdryer with just one hand only. Um, even though I tell all my students use two hands when you're using the hair dryer, but you know, three of my five fingers aren't in commission right now. So, uh, actually let's see, can I hold it? I'm not sure <laughs> this, I might have to hold it like this or just maybe not at all. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Now, probably some of you are wondering, why don't you just take a break? We'll be here when you heal and get back. Yeah. Well, this has to be done. This stuff has to get done. So it is what it is. I have to just pull, suck it up and pull through and just go for it and, and do it because time is running out. Like I said, I have to do like 20 of these and this is the first four, right? So got to do what you got to do. All right. Uh, base paint. I'm using white, titanium white um, by Amsterdam. Okay. And um, I just pulled out a random batch of colors. I have no rhyme or reason for what I'm going to do. I'm literally just going to pick colors and slap them on the canvas and blow them out. Um, it could be a crazy color palette. It may not be. I don't even know. I'm just literally, I've separated them from, uh, you know, metallics and shivers to regulars. 
Um, I don't know. I'm just going to go for it. I just picked a bunch of colors that I liked and literally that is what I'm going to do. Actually, I'm going to add this one here too. So as I'm doing the colors or, you know, grabbing the colors, I'll tell you what color it is. I will not put it in the description below the video because there's just too many colors to put down. Okay. So, uh, that being said, I'm going, um, to flood my canvases. Uh, and I'll be right back. is flooded bubbles popped you know it's amazing to realize how much you really use your fingers <laughs> certain fingers to, to grasp and touch and pick up certain things and then you realize oh no can't do that that hurts uh anywho okay um like I said no game plan here whatsoever so uh I'm just gonna start you know all right, I'm just gonna start down here. What do we got? Um, I'm gonna do Thalo Turquoise by TriArt. And um, question is, what am I doing in terms of a composition? Because this is such a small little canvas, I'll just kind of do one of that. So I'm gonna leave these bottles open. Okay, next I'm gonna do Iridescent Green Blue by Pebeo. Okay, uh, then I shall do, um, let's do Permanent Dark Violet by Golden. I, I never use Golden and I happen to see this on my shelf behind me. <laughs> so I was like, oh, Golden. Um, this color here is a concoction I made myself. It's turquoise, turquoise, uh, turquoise green, turquoise green with um some titanium white i call it my tiffany blue um let's see and then i'm going to add some silver uh that is a lot of colors how many colors have i put down way too many uh silver and i'm gonna top it off with um with uh purple so let's do ultramarine violet by amsterdam so there we go. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to do these one at a time. So pop the bubbles and uh, let's blow this one out super quick. Beautiful. Moving right along, let's do something funky over here. So let's use a uh, Prussian, and I think this one, let's try a different composition. So Prussian Blue by TriArt. Let's just do that. Uh, let's do uh, Permanent Magenta by Windsor and Newton. Okay. Let's do some 24 karat gold by Deco Art. All right. Let's do, let's do, I don't know. Let's do, um, 
Let's do Iridescent Green Blue by Pebeo. And let's top it off with, um, let's top it off with yellow. Let's do Primary Yellow by Amsterdam. This should be interesting. This should be definitely an interesting color combo. All right, pop the bubbles. Blow it out. That's interesting. Now doing these is going to be a little tough up here. Okay, so let's start with, this is a cool color, Pearl Amaranth Red by Arteza. Um, should I go back to a wispy? No, I kind of like that squiggle. So Pearl Amaranth Red by Arteza. Let's then do, let's do the Permanent Magenta by Windsor and Newton. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do some 24 karat gold. All right, uh, let's do, actually I'm gonna get some orange. Uh, let's do Cadmium Orange by Amsterdam Expert Series. Let's do that. I don't know if that's gonna look good, but we'll find out in a second. Uh, and then let's do some primary, um, let me add a shimmer. No, I'm good. Actually primary yellow by Amsterdam. Let's do that. Okay. I'm good with that. This is fun. Pop the bubbles. All right. This might be a little tough to blow out cause it's like so far away. Let's do it. color palette okay and moving along to the last one what shall I do all right what haven't I used yet okay I've got uh, hmm I know I use this because the lid is open I think I've used okay so let's see pearl magenta by Arteza I'll do a wispy Okay, Pearl Magenta by Arteza. Then let's do, ooh, Mauve by Holbein. Let's do that one. Okay, and then let's do, um, let's add the 24K because I just love the way 24K goes with almost everything. Okay, uh, 24K. Let's add Pearl Royal Purple by Arteza. Haven't used this one yet. Pearl Royal Purple. And let's top it off with, um, Let's top it off with Permanent Magenta by Windsor & Newton. 
I didn't do that one, did No, I didn't. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, I like it. Let's see what happens. Pop the bubbles. Okay, and let's blow it out. color palette let me tell you good thing I record these videos because then I can just go back and look at what colors I use because uh, oh my goodness that's my favorite this one's pretty this one's not my norm but I love it because it's so bright and spring color ish um, and then this one's just like a rainbow so there four four out of 18 or 20 done four down 16 to go okay so uh these need some major fixing on the edges so i am going to work on that get all my edges fixed up the best that i can um and then i'm gonna bring you guys in for a close-up be right back Alrighty, so that took a really long time for me to fix all the edges um i've already gone ahead and scraped the drips it's a little tricky because these canvases are kind of close together. But um, yeah, so let's start here with this one. Um, I love it. It's got the purples, the turquoise, the blues, more turquoise and purple, but super pretty. And then of course, the rainbow over here. That's interesting. Lots of cell action happening here. I don't know, all kinds of colors. Then of course we had the, let's call it the sprinkling, I don't know. So orangey colors, springtime. And then this one is my favorite out of the four. I love this color palette. I may have to try it on a much bigger canvas. Um, yeah, so actually out of these four, which one would you like to see on a big canvas? I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think that's a good idea. What one of these? So we have one, two, three, or four. Which one do you wanna see? Which color palette do you wanna see on a bigger canvas? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, let me uh, turn the flash on and see if we get some shimmer. Alrighty, so lights are off, flash is on. Uh, let's see if we get anything. It's kind of bright in my studio it's a beautiful sunny day but there's definitely gonna be shimmer like I mean I'm not gonna go through all of you know the whole entire canvas let's go up here oh yes you gotta love that 24k see the first one I just showed you didn't have 24k gold it just had silver you can really see the difference in a shimmery painting with the 24k uh, all right let's go over here I know I put it in here too. So you're definitely going to see the 24K shimmer in this piece. This is actually super pretty. Look at those colors. And then of course, my favorite. Oh goodness gracious. I'm loving this piece. I do love it. Let's go up here to the corner. I'm like reaching and praying I do not mess up my other pieces that are in front of me. Well, there you go, shimmer galore. All right, and there you have it, everybody. Um, I'd love to know what you think about these in the comments below. Again, which one is your favorite that you would like to see me do on a much bigger canvas? Uh, you all know I'm leaning towards that one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me know. Don't forget, uh, check out the description below the video. It's got all the information for all the classes, links, descriptions, discount codes for Crystal Resin, Loli Vefi, all kinds of products. Um, yeah, and again, if you're on my Wood Rounds list, stay, 
stay tuned for an email. It's coming, I promise. I'm just a little behind now and hard to type, you know, since my fingers are burned. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, stay tuned for Laser Friday. You're not going to want to miss this one. I cannot wait to show you guys what I made uh, Laser Fridays. And uh, that's it for me for now. Until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.